In this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick guided tour of the WebStorm IDE. This is my favorite IDE, my whole team uses it, this is not a sponsored video. I will show you at the end how to get an extended trial, I have some coupons available, I will tell you about how you could potentially get them. So if you are looking for an alternative to Visual Studio Code, then this video is for you. I'm going to give you here just the most commonly used shortcuts and features that you're going to be needing for everyday development. So without further ado, let's get started with this WebStorm guided tour. Welcome back to the Angular University channel, I'm Vasco. Let's then start the guided tour by where I know you guys want me to start, which is what themes are available. So we're going to go here to the appearance, the settings, and I'm using Monokai Pro for this demo, but you have high contrast, so it's this one here. Uh, people tend to use uh, Darkula, this one is very popular as well. You have here many themes available, so my uh, favorite one currently now is Monokai Pro, but you have here many more themes. You have a whole marketplace. The themes are, of course, free. So that's for the themes. Now the main elements of the IDE. You have all the usual elements, so navigation on the left, code on the right, and here you have the terminal. You can open as many terminals as you want. And I forgot to mention, you also have a distraction-free mode, so here you can focus only on the code. Let me exit that. Uh, that is good maybe for doing code katas or something like that, exercises. But in general, you want to use this typical work view. So everything is very nicely tucked away here. You have here the git changes. We're going to get into that later, but I just wanted to emphasize the terminals are here all perfectly integrated and you can dock them here, you can move them to the left, to the right, to the top, you can organize all these tabs as you prefer. Now for the navigation features, navigation is one of the things that I like the most here on WebStorm, it's very easy and intuitive, so let's say that for example I want to jump to the code of this signal counter component, I just hit command, I hover over the component and I click into it and I immediately jump where I want it to go. This would also work here for style URLs, for uh, template URLs, etc. You just jump to the destination. If you click here on on increment, you're going to jump to the definition of the method, etc. So everything very simple and intuitive in that way. Now you can also find usages of anything, such as for example, you click here on the counter component and you're going to be clicking on it. And now when you click on a component or when you click here on a method, you're going to open this pop-up containing the usages. You can filter out the usages that you want. For example, you can filter out imports, etc. And you can click on the usage and jump straight to where that element is being used. Now, command option uh, left and right is going to take you back and forth in the file that you were editing. So if you jump into a place and you want to go back, uh, command option left and right, it's going to allow you to navigate back and forth. Next, we also have here available in this uh, window for finding usages. If you click here on this icon, notice open in find tool window. This is going to open the usages here. And now you can go through the usages in a separate tab. And if you want to keep this tab around, simply pin it here. And then if you close this and you come back here to the finder, you're going to find the exact same search. You can use this to do a refactoring. So for example, if you refactor this usage and you want to uh, mark it as done, you hit backspace and you strike through it. So it shows up here as done. Or if you prefer command X and you remove it entirely from the usages list. So you can do your refactorings and keep track of what is still missing. Then you have here the git panel. So here you can see the changes. You, you have here a simplified diff, but if you need a more detailed diff, you do command D and you see here uh, a more detailed diff. So you can merge this back and forth if you prefer. 
Now, if you have a specific file in mind, you know the name and you would like to open it, Command Shift O and you just type in here the file name, you hit uh, the file name and you jump straight into it, so very simple. Also here, the Find tool on the Explorer is very powerful, so for example, you want to search something here on a particular subfolder, you do Command Shift F and you type what you want to search, you apply a file mask and then the usages pop up here and you have the usual open in find window option. Again, you can pin this so that you can refactor this at your own leisure. And these are the main shortcuts that I tend to use in general. I think that the main advantage of this IDE is that you don't need a ton of shortcuts in order to be able to use it effectively. I only use a few. If you are a fan of shortcuts, of course, I'm sure that there are hundreds of shortcuts, but you don't need them most of the time for everyday development. These ones that I gave you will allow you to maintain your code without any problem. Now, if you would like to try out this IDE, WebStorm gives me some coupons for free, so I don't pay for the coupons, they don't pay me to sponsor this video, but they give me free coupons and I can distribute it to you guys here in the Angular University. If you grab here a subscription, and it doesn't have to be a yearly subscription, it could be monthly, you will have access to all the Angular University courses plus one WebStorm six month license. So just a small incentive if you want to grab here a subscription in my website. An alternative to this is to grab the free WebStorm early access program that you have available. So this is their temporary nightly build, so to speak. It sometimes has a couple of bugs, but in general, it's very stable and usable, and it has all the latest features. So you can download it here. It's for free, and it's going to last for a couple of weeks, and after that, you're going to have to download a new build, etc. but you don't lose any of your work. So you can also keep testing out WebStorm this way, if you prefer. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this guided tour of the IDE. Let me know what is your favorite IDE. Do you like Visual Studio Code? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Let me know in the comment section below. I've been using WebStorm since forever. So this is my favorite IDE. I just wanted to share this out with you guys. So I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much everyone for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers everyone!